There seems to be a growing body of evidence in uh, scientific literature and data and studies coming out of uh, many different organizations from the World Health Organization, the National Institute for Health, even JAMA is producing more and more studies showing how uh, environmental um, toxins are affecting our health in addition to sort of our nutritional status. So this is leading to Americans becoming more and more aware of how eating organic food is important to them. Or conversely, not eating food that's laced with pesticides, which acts as endocrine disruptors and can affect your hormonal imbalance, or can affect a hormonal imbalance within one's body. Um, looking at the health of our water supply, like often, you know, the bottled water industry has is, is grown exponentially, but we're even now beginning to realize that drinking bottled water has plasticizers, that it's actually maybe better to have filtered water and carry it in an algene bottle, which doesn't off-gas plasticizers, which acts as an uh, estrogen-mimicking chemical once it gets into your bloodstream. There's a huge sort of uh, snowballing effect that we're seeing in the scientific literature showing how pesticides affect um, the sterility of male offspring and not only the first generation but a second generation of male offspring is affected. Uh, we can look at um, male sperm rates that back in the early 60s, it's just 50 years ago, the average sperm count was 200 million and today it's 20 million for an average sperm count and species all over the world are having declined conception rates and increased level of birth defects. So these are all big issues for fertility and these are things we have to consider and um, it's a growing social conscious.